from Mick talking about all the programs that are coming to South Africa. And so what I want to talk with you about is the Global Startup Program. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about how it is I ended up on stage. So in 2014, I sold my last company, which was called Swing by Swing Golf. We were the most popular golf software in the world. Um, golfers use our technology uh, as a rangefinder device on courses all around the world. And after selling that company, who are my identity was very tied to it, I was walking around sort of lamenting and thinking like, what am I going to do with my life? Right? What am I going to do when I grow up? And a girlfriend of mine said, have you ever heard of Singularity University? And I said, no. And it was this question, actually, from my friend and colleague Peter Diamandis, the founder of SU, that fundamentally changed my life forever. How will you positively impact the lives of one billion people? And I got to say, nobody ever posed that question to me, ever. I never thought at that scale, what does it mean to create something that can impact one billion people? And so I thought to myself, any organization that is aligned with that, I've got to be a part of. So as it turned out, they were running this program called the GSP. I applied, and in 2004, with the grace of God, I was accepted. This is my class right here, class of 2014, and that's me. And so like Rob Nail, our CEO, Karen Watson, our EVP, and many beyond, I never left SU. So now I'm the vice president of SU Ventures. And like my GSP learnings taught me, our mission is to back 10,000 startups that are focused on solving the GGCs. And so you've heard a bit about them over the course of this conference. And I want to bring them up here just so you know. These are what we call our global grand challenges. And rather than looking at them like massive problems, we see them as opportunities. Opportunities for entrepreneurs and people to get involved, create industries, create markets. Imagine what happens, and I see these in these programs I run all the time, when you get startups figuring out how to educate 7 billion people in our education GGC, or coming up with great renewable energy, right? Imagine what happens when you put startups on solving the problem of creating efficiencies in our food supply so nobody goes hungry. That's what the GGCs are all about. And as you've learned from days, well, two days, at this incredible conference, it's because of these exponential technologies that is now becoming possible. They are converging and they're creating new markets and new industries. And we spend a lot of time teaching our entrepreneurs exactly how these work. So the GSP is transformative, I can tell you firsthand. It's impactful. It is mind-blowing to get so caught up with technology so quickly. But rather than have me go on and on about it, let me introduce you to Olivia Ramos, GSP 16. So she figured out a convergence that was going on in artificial intelligence and real estate and started a company called Deep Blocks. She says, we learned which technologies would help elevate our startup exponentially. This is Dimitri here, CEO of Escape, Escape Dynamics. He says, the knowledge I gained gave us a 40-year head start in developing systems that today are becoming essential to the industry. So over the last 10 years, we've had almost 700 people attend the GSP. Through that, we've had over 1,100 impact initiatives come out of it that have had a direct impact on 145 countries. We've produced 186 startups, and I'm proud to say that 56 of them are still active, and many have gone on to raise millions. Here's an example of just a small sample of them. Now, what's incredible about this sample is these were the first, the first to create something new that the world had never seen before. In 2009, we saw GetAround come out with the world's first peer-to-peer -peer chartering service, what that meant is that I could rent my car to you, you could rent my car to me. That didn't exist before. They opened up the whole shareable economy. After that, we saw Made in Space come, and you're going to hear from Jason Dunn. Figured out how to 3D print in space, and he'll tell you why. 
In 2011, we saw Matternet, the world's first autonomous drone delivery. You know why they came up with that idea? Because they wanted to figure out how to get medical supplies from one location to another that had very difficult roads. And so they had to figure out how to get a drone to fly. In my year that I was there, 2014, CuraSense was launched by two beautiful friends of mine. They created a smart pad. They realized that in the monthly blood that women shed, they could create a pad and it could bring women's information about women's reproductive health that had never been available before. So these are the types of things that we see coming out of GSP. In Africa specifically, you guys heard from Jeff about Beth here, magic water, harvesting water from air to provide clean, clean drinking water for people. And Dr. Nick Walker, if he's in the audience somewhere, we ran into each other, uh, worked on a project with Agustina and said, hey, let's try to bring easy access to HIV testing to Africa. Nick is a South African as well. So after 10 years of perfecting this program, of understanding what it takes to deliver the type of impact and the type of companies that we need to see in the world, we've become exponential and we're ready to take it global. We want to work with more startups. We've created so it's truly scalable and it can run all over the world. So let's talk a little bit about what this looks like. We broke it up into three, pro three components. It used to be a 10-week summer program. Now it's three components. It starts with four weeks of Activate. That's what you heard. Mick say we're gonna run Activate here. So this is where we take an existing startup. And we say, we say, you've already got all the assets, you've got some market penetration, let's hear your best thinking and let's really level up that idea. Let's talk about how technologies are gonna converge and we help them come up with another idea. We get them thinking at the billion scale, we have them experiencing the world as globalists so that they can level up their current idea. Then we give them four weeks off they go back, synthesize with their team, and then we plop them on a plane and send them to Silicon Valley for what we call GSP Accelerate. And this is really where we break down that new idea into a minimum viable product. They're working with our faculty, they're working with our mentors around the world, um, coming up with this new product or service. And then the whole thing sits on what we call GSP Accelerate. And so these types of ideas, these types of startups, need ongoing support. And so we give them a board of advisors that works with them. They have regular check-ins. Well, I shouldn't say regular. They have quarterly check-ins with their mentors, with their faculty. They meet quarterly with Ray Kurzweil and Peter D to talk about what it is that they're working on. Do you imagine, like, you know, you're building your, your startups two years old, five years old, and now you've got Ray and Peter kind of, you know, leveling up your idea or taking it down? It's incredible stuff. So you've seen a lot of our faculty here. You've met some of the new ones. Um, you know, these entrepreneurs are going to work, work and learn with the best. And what else is really cool about SCU that I see on a regular basis in working with these startups is that we have some really incredible, not those, these guys, both of those, in corporate partners. And so we spend a lot of time figuring out who needs to meet with who and why, and making meaningful introductions. And so these are their early go-to-market partners. These are potential pilot partners. Down the road, maybe potential M&A. And so these startups have this whole team of people that are thinking about what they need, who they need to work with over time. And for those of you that are in the audience that work for a large corporation and want to come and mentor or support this program in some way, I highly encourage you to come and be one of our partners. So this is what GSP 2019 looks like. I am beyond, as an alumna, I am beyond excited to say we're gonna run it on three continents. So we start in April in Denmark for the first activate phase, and then we come to South Africa um, in August. And now, if you can imagine, this girl here, thinking, how do I impact the lives of billions of people through entrepreneurs? This is what it looks like for me. We run GSP Activate all over the world. We can bring it to South Africa focused and verticalized on water solutions. We can send it to Greece, 
bring in the entrepreneurs and focus on the refugee crisis. And it runs all over the world, and we bridge, the ba the bridge back to Silicon Valley, where the capital is, and then we connect the nodes, making it very easy for entrepreneurs to navigate the globe. So if you know a startup, if you are a startup, or you want to be involved, our top line criteria is that they're in one of these categories, our GGC categories. And we're looking for established startups. This is our website. Um, if you want to be involved in any way, reach out to Mick and to Shane. We'd love to have you around. Again, my name is Monique Giggy. Come flag me down when we're at lunch. Happy to work with you. And I will see you all next year. Thank you very much. Thank you.